We're out here on the beach. It's July 17th, uh, Corolla, North Carolina. We've got about six rods in the water, two deep drops for sharks, and then four surf, shot, uh, surf rods. And then my brother's got a casting lure on. He's tossing a spoon out in the surf. Hoping for pretty much anything that bites. We use a variety of baits. We've got cut bunker on the uh, deep, shot, uh, deep drop rigs. And we've got some fish bites, swordfish, and finger mullets on the surf rigs. So we'll see how it works out for us. The only thing that will get you out of bed during summer at 5 a.m. surf fishing and lots of coffee. So you'll notice out on this beach, there's the beach, then there's a sandbar. Sandbar is out there about 30 or so yards. What you want to do is for the bigger rods, you want to get them out on the other side of that sandbar. For the smaller rods, a couple of them you want to be maybe on the just on the other side of the sandbar, and one or two of them you want to have in what's called the trough. The trough is where the waves are breaking over that first sandbar, and it pushes up a bunch of different shrimp and clams and dead fish and stuff like that and it pushes it in towards shore, and it's the deeper part in between the beach and the sandbar. So that's where a lot of fish will sit, and they'll eat all that stuff that the waves push up. So a lot of them will sit on this side of the trough and be swimming up and down, just basically eating at the buffet. Is it fish bites? Little ones for those. Yeah. So right here, we're putting on a small piece of swordfish that we got from a fish market. They said they've been catching some smaller sharks and other fish on. I'll put this small piece of, it's called fish bites on top of it. Just kind of hold it on a little bit. And do the same for this hook as well. So, that's what you end up looking with. You have a finger mullet on the hook to a float that keeps the bait off the ground. Steel leader to a three-way swivel. On this three-way swivel, we have a six ounce weight, and then on the other side goes to our braided main line. And that's what we cast out.
sitting out here on the beach, I'm noticing a lot of things. A lot of people running up and down the beach and they're uh, stopping and asking what we're fishing for. Well, that's the best part about fishing is you never really know. So, I tell people most of the time the smaller rods are for the whiting and the bluefish and stuff along those lines, but there are sharks out here and people don't want to believe that. So, we'll see. Hopefully we can snag one or two. People working out, people learning to surf, and then people like us, just relaxing, waiting for the fish to bite. Now tonight, we're attempting to do a little bit more shark fishing. Uh, Brooke and I came out about an hour ago. We just got everything completely set up. We've got two deep drop shark rigs and two surf rods over here. So right now it's the easy time. We're gonna sit back, wait for a bite, and drink a couple beers. So stay tuned. Hopefully we catch something. We haven't had a lot of luck yet on this trip. show you what not to do when someone's surf fishing on the beach. You would think the lines in the water mean that there's hooks on the end of them. Not to these idiots. No, we've got lines in the water right here and these guys decide they want to come swim right in front of my lines. What morons. I hope they get hooked because if they do, I'm reeling them in and measuring them. And I don't think there's a creel limit on stupid. All right, so it's the last morning of shark fishing. It's our last chance to try and catch something. Hopefully we can get it done. So we leave tomorrow and uh, we'll try to give her one last shot. We had a little trouble setting up. It was a little tough getting through the breakers on the kayak this morning. And uh, it was a good time watching Rich dump it and roll a couple times. But uh, we finally got one of the shark lines out. We've got two, two or three of the uh, surf rods out. So it's about 7.15 right now. The birds are working. There's bluefish jumping in the surf. And uh, hopefully we can hook up. It's gone, whatever it was. 